and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable little notions pouch. It has this cute button enclosure, a nice little zipper pouch right here on the outside and then if you open it up it has a really cute pocket on the inside. Now of course when you're sewing this you can sew some extra straight lines down this pocket to make it a little more customizable. It would be perfect for knitting needles or crochet hooks but really you can put anything you want in this fun little pouch. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Supplies for this project are really easy. You're going to need some kind of batting or interfacing. This is just kind of a heavier weight interfacing. You'll need three fat quarters. You'll also need a zipper and I'm just using this polyester zipper. This one is actually 14 inches long and you could probably get away with a 12 inch zipper. This just happens to be the one that I have that matches my fabric so I'm using that one. You'll also need some basic sewing supplies, either wonder clips or pins will do the trick. You're also going to need some embroidery floss, a button, and some kind of a string. This is just 1 8 inch faux leather string. And then if you're curious, I am using this adorable fabric. This one is called Daisy May by Poppy Cotton and it is just so cute and fun. I'm really excited to play with it today. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to work on is our outside panel that has the zipper in it. So first I'm going to take my smaller piece of uh, contrasting fabric and I'm going to sew it right sides together to the larger piece of outside fabric. So we're just going to place those right sides together like this and then I'm going to sew using a quarter of an inch along the seam and we'll press that. So here is our finished piece and I just pressed our seams. I pressed them open but you can press them towards the darker fabric if you like. Now we're going to add our zipper. So I'm just going to take my zipper and here is the zipper tab that is considered the right side of the zipper. I'm going to lay that right side down on top of this outside piece and just line up those raw edges. Then I'm going to take the lining piece that is the same size as our outside of our bag and I'm going to lay that down right side down on top of there. And if you don't have a cat rearranging your materials for you, it's a little bit easier. I'm just going to clip this in place and then we're going to take this over to our sewing machine and just sew right down this edge, getting as close to our zipper teeth as we can. Of course, you can use a zipper foot. I don't have one for my machine, so I'm just going to use my regular quarter of an inch foot. So here is what it should be looking like and I'm just going to take this over to my ironing board and just press this edge and then I'm going to sew right along this top edge just to give it a more finished look. So here's our finished off piece and now we're going to add it to the little short pieces for the top portion of our zipper. So we're going to, just like we did last time, we're going to have our outside fabric facing up and then we're going to flip this over so the zipper is right side down again and just line up those raw edges and these side edges and then you're going to take your other little short piece of lining and place that right side down and again take this over to the sewing machine and sew as close as you can to those zipper teeth right along this edge. And then just like last time we're going to fold both of these edges up and press them and then just run a stitch right along this top to finish it off. So here is what our project should be looking like. We've got lining on one side and the outside fabric on the other and then we can just go ahead and trim off these ends of our zipper now and before you do that you just want to pull your zipper pull in and then you can just trim these off on both sides. Okay, now we're ready to assemble our bag and so we're going to take our project and I'm actually going to turn it right side down so that we've got our lining facing up and then I'm going to take our other piece of lining that we cut. This should be the full length of your bag now and we're going to lay that right side down and that's going to be the lining for when you open up that outside zipper pocket. Clip this in place just to kind of hold that zipper together if you can get all those layers together. Okay, next on top of this, we're gonna layer our piece of batting. And I did cut it so it's a quarter inch less than my actual project. It makes it a little bit easier when you're turning and all that kind of fun stuff. And then I'm just gonna add that batting in there. And if you'd like, you can throw a few wonder clips just to kind of hold all of these layers in place because we are now going to flip this over. So we're gonna just flip this whole thing over so we've got our outside of our bag facing us. And then we're gonna take our last piece of lining here and we're gonna layer that right side down on top of all of those layers. And then I'm just going to clip that in place as well. Next, and this is totally optional, but I think it's kind of a fun little addition to this side over here. So the side with your zipper on it, 
I like to just round these edges. Now, if you have a edge or a corner rounder, you can totally do that. If you don't, you can do what I'm going to do, which is take some kind of a round object and just draw your own on there. So I'm just going to trace around this little piece of tape. And by the way, this tape is actually the Cluck Cluck Sew quarter inch tape, and I get a ton of questions on this whenever I do videos. So I will link it below. You can get it from Fat Quarter Shop. And this is tape that you can put on your sewing machine, and it just helps you with your quarter inch seams so that you don't have to draw all those pesky diagonal lines on your box. So I've pinned all the way around the edges of my bag here. Here's my zipper end, here's the opposite end. We're gonna sew all the way around this edge, leaving approximately four or so inches open down here so that we can turn our project right side out. I'm gonna sew using a quarter inch seam. And before I do that, I am gonna add something a little extra to this pouch. So I am using this just really thin, I would say maybe an eighth of an inch thin leather cording. And I just got it at my local craft store and I've cut a piece that's about seven or so inches. And I'm going to take that and just place it right in the middle here on the zipper side and then just tuck the rest of it down inside there and then I'm just going to put a clip right there so I can hold it in place and also when I sew over this I'm going to probably backstitch over it a couple times just to make sure it's in there nice and good. So here is what our project should be looking like and we've got our opening down here. I'm going to go ahead and just cut off these corners a little bit. Just make sure you don't cut through your stitch line, but it will help when you're turning. And then I'll just cut right along this curved edge as well. And now we can turn our project right side out. And when you go to turn it right side out, just make sure you're turning it through the lining and the outside of your bag, not your batting. So we should be looking something like this and I'm actually going to just take this over to my ironing board and just give it a really good press so I can get everything nice and organized. You've got your little string tie sticking out right here and our zipper. I'm also going to take these edges and just press them in by one quarter of an inch. Lining up these edges, I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and just sew right along this top edge to close up our opening. So now we're ready to add our button. We've closed up our opening down here and our project has been pressed. We're going to take this and fold it right along this panel where we added the different color fabric on our outside and just press that in place. And then we're going to fold down the top so that we've got about an inch and a half showing down here. And then I'm just going to put my button where I'd like it. So I'm just going to kind of center mine one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So right there, and then I'm just gonna make a mark, don't mind Jax, with my pencil here. And then now I know where I can sew my button on. All right, our button is added, and now we're gonna go ahead and take this and fold it back up along that bottom seam line there. And we're going to, starting down here, so right along this edge to secure this pocket in place, around the top, and then back down to the other side. Now, if you wanted to use this for something like knitting needles or uh, crochet hooks or anything like that, feel free to do some vertical sewing strips right here to make yourself some slots in this cute little pocket. And here is our finished pouch. All we need to do is just close our flap, tie it up, and we're ready to fill it with goodies and be on our way. All right, guys, that is it for today's project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know how to keep making fun tutorials for you. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video. I will see you next time. And then when you open it up, it's just got a cute little packet. What does it have? But before we do that, I'm going to add one other little <laughs> detail. Jax, stop. Good job, buddy. Jax is here helping, guys. Always here in the background. 
And because I always like to forget things when I'm doing my supplies list, you will also need some kind of a cute little ribbon. This is just like, I think one eighth, one eighth inch. And then because I always have to forget something when I'm doing my supply list, you will also need some kind of little strapping. This is just one eighth inch like faux leather strap, I believe. Check see. 